Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Akash Kanguli and welcome to another video. This will be the part 2 of the training pathways for OMFS all across the globe. In this video, I will be discussing about those countries which require only a dental degree to pursue OMFS. First, I will talk about the Indian subcontinent that is India. The Dental Council of India regulates the postgraduate dental education in India. In order to pursue OMFS, we require the MDS degree, which is a three years course. And this is a difficult course. Hmm. Hai. Kam student kar hmm. You have to be very intelligent. Hmm. And I was one of them. The eligibility for this course is a BDS degree, which should include four years of studies and one year of internship. Now, coming to our neighbor, Pakistan, in order to pursue OMFS, there are two training pathways, which are of four years duration each. First, the MDS. The Pakistan Medical and Dental Council supervises the MDS in various dental colleges. Second, the FCPS. College of Physicians and Surgeons of Pakistan regulate these this accredited program in various dental colleges. This program runs parallelly with the MDS degree program. Now, the eligibility to get into these programs is a BDS degree, followed by one year of house staff and a pass in FCPS Part One. Coming to Bangladesh. Now, similar to Pakistan, Bangladesh also has FCPS program. The Bangladesh College of Physicians and Surgeons supervise this program and it is the most prestigious specialist degree in OMFS. Also, the University of Dhaka runs MS in OMFS. Now, Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, the Postgraduate Institute of Medicine, which is affiliated to the University of Colombo, runs the MD in OMFS program. The eligibility to get into this program is one year experience after graduation. It is a five years program. It consists of three years of pre-MD training followed by two years of post-MD training. In this program, there is compulsory one year of training in abroad for maxillofacial surgery, followed by three months of training in a local oncosurgical unit, and then nine months of training in a local oral and maxillofacial surgery training center. The board certification is granted to the student after this two year of training. Now coming to Southeast Asia. First, we will talk about Malaysia. Well, this country runs a continuous 48 month program in OMFS. The candidate is awarded the Master of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery after completion of this program. And the eligibility criteria is either BDS, DDS, or any equivalent degree. Coming to countries of East Asia, we have Hong Kong. College of Dental Surgeon of Hong Kong under the umbrella of Hong Kong Academy of Medicine offers this six year specialist program in OMFS. It consists of three years of basic training followed by three years of advanced training. There is an intermediate examination between these two that is the basic three year basic training and the three year advanced training. Now, coming to Japan. Well, the dental education is based on stomatological model. It is autonomous and separate from medical education. The curriculum, the dental curriculum is for, is for about six years, followed by a doctoral program to pursue OMFS, which lasts for four years. Coming to Nordic countries like Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland, the OMFS training program is little varied from the rest of Europe. 
In these countries, only a dental degree is sufficient to pursue MFS. And the dental education may vary from 4 to 6. The Helsinki University in Finland is the only university that advocates a double diploma for a specialist degree in OMFS. The training program lasts for 4 to 6 years. If the student has a double diploma, it lasts for 3.5 years. If the student has either a medical degree, a single medical degree or a single dental degree, then the education. Now coming to Turkey, the specialty is called oral dental and job. Now it is a 4 to 5 year program and this program is going to be regulated for the better by the health authorities in Turkey. It is said that, a, that an 18 month program will be introduced within the curriculum that will include plastic and reconstructive surgery, emergency medicine, dermatology, general anesthesia, etc. Coming to USA, well, it has been a sort of destination for many people all across the globe and a broader discussion needs to be done for the training pathway in USA. But for now, it runs two programs, one a four-year and a six-year program. In the four-year program, it includes one year of medical training along with four to six months of anesthesia training. In the six-year program, it integrates medical training along with one to two years of posting in the general surgery department. The eligibility is pre-doctoral program done from either USA or Canada. Coming to Russia, in order to pursue OMFS, either you can have a medical degree or a dental degree, but not in Russia. Students can either do a diploma in general medicine for 6 years, then opt for a certificate in maxillofacial surgery after 2 years of training, or they may get a diploma in dentistry for 5 years, do 1 year of internship, then opt for a certificate in oral and maxillofacial surgery after 2 years of training and get the certificate. Coming to Africa, where well, for Africa, very little data is done. In Sudan, it is said that after pursuing BDS, you can go. In South Africa, MCHD degree in oral and maxillofacial surgery is done after you pursue BCHD and or M Finally, coming to the Latin American countries like Brazil and Argentina, as well as some Middle East countries like Saudi Arabia, he said that you only need a dental license to practice oral surgery in these countries. With times, things will obviously change for the better, and more development will take place in various parts of the globe in the field of oral and maxillofacial surgery. I hope. The Indian government also takes heed and the DCI also takes necessary steps to strengthen the authority of the oral and maxillofacial surgeons in India. If you like my content, hit the like button, give your comments below, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you.